friend, it's Ashley. Today we're going to be creating some fun Christmas decor pieces that you can put anywhere in your house to get it all set up and ready to go for Christmas. I'm really excited to show you these. They're super simple, but they're really cute. The first one we're going to make is a nautical Christmas tree. I love all things nautical, so this one speaks to my heart. The first thing you're going to need is one of these little garland trees from the Dollar Tree. And here I'm going to show you, I actually created one of these already, but I used yarn. Now the yarn I had picked up at Walmart, but the Dollar Tree actually has yarn. And their yarn, they have really pretty colors. They didn't have red, but they do have some gray, they have some cream colored, and I'm actually thinking about picking up some more and making more of these trees because they're super cute. And then you're also going to grab some nautical rope, which I also got from the Dollar Tree. I grabbed two packs of them. I think they were nine feet long each. And then what we're going to do is we are going to cut the garland off of this tree form and we're going to use that to make our nautical rope Christmas tree. And I can promise Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. So here I'm comparing the sizes because we're going to cut this other one down. I didn't want them both to be the exact same size so I'm going to make this one shorter. And I did use wire cutters for this but I'm pretty sure a pair of scissors will work just fine. Now we're going to start hot gluing the rope to the tree form. This is one of those DIYs that you want to get like a YouTube channel to watch or Netflix and just kind of hang out and catch up on some shows while you're getting some Christmas decor ready to go. So here I kind of had a moment where I was gluing the rope solely just to the to the form. You'll kind of see what I'm talking about here in a second. And then I realized it's definitely smarter and more secure if you start gluing the nautical rope to itself. So that's what I started doing, but initially I wasn't doing that. So just a tip, you can, you know, you, you probably know this and you're like, well duh, Ashley, how did you not think about that? I just didn't, okay, I don't even know. I was just gluing the rope to the form. To each of those like little things that are coming down on the form to make the tree and then i realized well it's better off to glue the nautical rope to itself and to the tree form so just just a tip there is there anything that you're missing i will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow whatever we do we will be all right these holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. The love I live, the dream I know. This Christmas, I only want to be close to you. All right, I'm not gonna make you watch the rest of that, but here's where I ended up pulling out the second strand of rope, and I'm gonna start glu hot gluing it down so we can finish this tree up. Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. All right, now here we are at the top of the nautical tree, and I, I'm now realizing that this was not the best angle to film this at, so I do apologize for it. But all I did at the top was I just wrapped it around, and whenever I cut it, 
some of the rope had kind of frayed, which I had totally anticipated. So all you're going to do there is take some hot glue, and you'll see me do it in a second, but take some hot glue and start gluing the little pieces down that are kind of sticking out everywhere. Now my hot glue gun does not get super hot, so if you have one of those hot glue guns that will like scorch you, be very careful doing this. They have those hot glue finger things, I don't know what they're called, uh, but if you have some of those, use them, or gloves of some sort if you have a super hot hot glue gun, but mine is not, so it didn't burn me. But you can see here, I'm just kind of putting a little bit of glue down and then I'm holding the rope down over it until it kind of dries. All right, the nonicle tree is all done. This is probably my favorite one yet, and I'm definitely going to be making some more of them because they are so stinking cute. Now, the second DIY that we are going to do is a distressed snow table decor. So I picked up this, these um, letters and the snowflake from Hobby Lobby. It was all in one package together. I just already cut it out of the package. But I picked these up, and we're going to be using the Waverly Chalk Paint in Ocean as well as Waverly Chalk Paint in White to paint these and so I painted the snowflake white and then I went with that pretty ocean like navy blue color for the S, N, and W. I think the worst part about this project was trying to paint in between all the crevices. The W was the worst. That was the hardest one to get. So I do recommend a small paintbrush, which I just switched mine out for a smaller one. That does work a lot better. The good thing though is that in between all the crevices on all of them, the snowflake and all the letters, you only have to do one coat. So that's amazing. You don't have to go back over it again. So I ended up painting both sides of the snowflake and the letters. I'm going to be setting them out on my entertainment center so you will be able to see both sides of them, sort of. But if you're going to be like hanging these up on a wall with, you know, hooks or command strips or something, I wouldn't paint the back of them because nobody's going to see them. But I did end up painting both sides and I did two coats of both, both the white and the blue. And then here in just a little bit, I'm going to show you how we can distress these and make them look like they're kind of rustic. And I'll give you some tips for distressing items. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times Oh my gosh, I cannot get over how pretty this blue is. I love it so much. If you like like a navy blue, this is a really pretty color. I love it a lot and it dries a little bit darker than what you can see here. Now, one thing I was kind of worried about was like, are you going to be able to see all of the brush strokes? Because you can see them plain as day here, but I promise you when this dries, you won't be able to see the brush strokes in it. So I went ahead and I painted everything off camera. And now that everything is painted and dried, we're going to go in with Waverly chalk paint and silver lining and we're going to distress everything. Now, when you're distressing something, you want to put some paint on your paintbrush and then you're gonna dab off like 98% of it until there's, it's, it's called dry brushing. So it's like you barely have any paint on your paintbrush and then you start going over whatever it is that you're distressing. You can do this on um, tables, on shelves, cabinets, whatever you, any kind of wood decor, if you want to distress it, you can do it that way. You also can distress paper. There's so many different things that you can dry distress using this technique. I actually went over the snowflake 
twice. The second time I mainly did it around the edges, but I did go over the snowflake twice. And then the letters, I just went over those once because that silver lining will really pop on the, on the blue. But it kind of took a couple of very thin coats to make it really pop on the white. Okay, this is my favorite part. I love the way that the silver lining pops off of that navy blue color. I think it looks so stinking good. Now, if you don't want to distress these, you don't have to. You can totally leave them solid. I think that that looks really cute too. I was just going for more of a like a farmhousey, distressed, aged kind of look whenever I did these. All right, you gotta let me know down in the comments section which one you liked better. Initially, I was kind of leaning more towards the nautical tree just because my living room, my office, my bathroom, pretty much most of my house is decorated in nautical stuff. And that's one of those pieces that I can leave up year round. But man, these snow letters are just bringing me all the winter vibes, having me excited for Christmas. So I'm, <laughs> I'm having a hard time, but if I had to choose, I think I'm gonna choose the nautical tree. I mean, nautical has my heart. I love it so stinking much. So that's probably what I would choose. But let me know which one is your favorite. I mean, I hope you make both of them. But still, yeah, I'm curious. Let me know which one is your favorite. The love I live, the dream I know. This Christmas, I only wanna be close to you. Now here's where I did the second coat on the snowflake and as you can see I mainly went around the edges. I think the top of it turned out really cute so I didn't really add much to it. I just think that that silver lining, honestly if you, I had a darker gray color that would pop a lot on that white. I just didn't have any. I only have the silver lining so I went with that. It's like a really light gray color. Whatever we do, we and here is how they turned out. I think they are so stinking cute. Very farmhousey vibes, very distressed and antique looking. I'm usually not into antique -y stuff, so this is kind of a surprise to me that I love these so stinking much, but I really do think they turned out cute, especially whenever you start pairing them with some other Christmas decor pieces. All right, there we have it. Two super easy Christmas DIYs. I hope you love both of these just as much as I do. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I hope you have an incredible day, and I will see you in the next video. Nimbly, did you hear something from the chimney? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Christmas, I only want